Hello, this is Professor Tom Wolf. We're continuing with our Java Swing graphical user interface. This is the fourth presentation. As the GUIs get more complicated, we need to use a layout manager to handle the arrangement and the positioning of all the various components. And uh, the default layout manager for a J panel is called Flow Layout. That displays components from left to right as they're added to the container that uh, holds them. And this is the same way that a web browser displays HTML content. So basically, we'll add, we'll go across from left to right. When we reach the right-hand margin, uh, we'll run back around to the left-hand side, go down, and uh, that's called flow layout. Uh, a useful layout manager, which we're going to use today in this example, is called border layout. It divides the uh, component into north, south, east, west, and center regions. And if you don't use a region, it uh, shrinks and disappears, and the center takes precedence. So it'll basically try to uh, size the regions for the content and give the center the extra space. So I'm going to redo my background color changer here, and uh, I'm going to use the north, south, and center components of a border layout. So we're going to just go ahead and convert the program from the last video uh, to use this. There's a couple other layouts, and uh, one is grid layout. Uh, I don't know that we'll use that here. We'll see, but I don't think we will. So I'm back in NetBeans, and this is my color changer frame. Uh, and again, we're going to go ahead and add a border uh, layout manager to it. And we're going to kind of increase the uh, complexity here. So uh, instead of a single panel called panel, I'm going to have a panel called main. And then within that panel, I'm going to have uh, a title panel. And then my center panel will be my content panel. Content panel. And then finally, I'll have my control panel at the bottom where I have my buttons. Okay. All right. So uh, we have our new panels in. We're going to use all of our previous components. So let's just go ahead and look at how we're going to do this. Okay. So here I'm creating what used to be called panel, and that's actually main. Equals new panel. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and copy this line and then paste it in and then change the name of the other three panels. <coughs> mm, pardon me. So, title panel, content panel, which is going to be in the center, and then control or button panel. I think we'll call it control panel which will be in the south. Okay? Alright, so uh, we're creating our label and uh, basically now we just have to make sure we add everything to the right panel. So the label needs to go in the title panel so here we go now I don't have this organized very well because of the fact that I'm refactoring existing code. It probably would be it make more sense to group all this more intelligently. So I like deal with everything in the first panel, then deal with the second, then deal with the third. And uh, maybe I'll rearrange the code to do that here. So I add the label to the title panel, and then I'm going to add the buttons to uh, the control panel. Control panel. Con whoops. There we go. Okay, now here I'm adding uh, main. to the uh, the frame 
but first I have to go ahead and set the layout manager on main and add the sub panels to it. So main dot set layout manager set layout sorry and then this is going to be new border layout and notice that's anonymous I don't need to give that a name and I have to include the import so control shift I takes care of that and then now as I add the uh, elements to main I have to specify where they go and I mean the panels to main okay so main dot add and then this is going to be our title panel might have this backwards we'll see it'll tell me border layout dot north okay is it like that yep looks like I got it right okay good so then I'll just copy this because I'm going to add the other three panels in the same way actually just the other two so this is going to be no that's wrong I have three panels I have to add them all uh, okay so let's see what are we doing here this is going to be the center panel content panel and that's going to go in the center oops should be all caps that's a constant there we go and then one more time and this is the control panel which has the buttons so since I'm not using the east or the west those will shrink and disappear and I'll basically have a uh, single column with three rows and uh, the north will have the title the uh, south will have the uh, buttons let me change this here to south and then uh, the most of the screen will be taken up by the center and that's going to be the uh, panel that I want to set the background color on and so I need to go ahead now and change the uh, action listener to do that. So if we come on down here, notice this says panel, but now it should be content panel dot set background color. Okay. All right. Nothing else changes. Let's take a look and see if this is going to work for us or not. Again, we're running our driver, and again, the driver didn't change at all. So right click on the frame viewer, run the file, and it uh, looks like we need to expand this. Okay, so now you can see I have a panel up here with the title, Color Changer, and I have my Change button and my Quit button here, and then the middle panel is the one that should change the color, and sure enough, it does. Okay? So I use my border layout to do that. Everything works. My quit button still closes the application uh, correctly. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, let's see here. So we're in the frame. Let's go ahead and change the size. So really now I want this to be bigger. I'm going to make it 400 by 400. And here we go. Okay, so we used our first layout manager. We used the border layout. And um, again, if you don't use a region, then it just shrinks. So I'm using the north, the center, and the south. And as I mentioned, what it wants to do is it wants to size the directions, north, south, east, or west, to their content and then use the extra space for the center and that's pretty common so I can use this to do a uh, multi-column layout or a multi-row layout so here I just have the three rows uh, the other thing too is you can make this more complicated so you can begin to use 
layout managers inside of here. Now, okay, so I've rearranged the code a little bit to just make it a little bit more logical and it'll be easier to maintain. So all I did is I rearranged all these statements. So now we have the call to the frame with super that puts that in. We create the main J panel here. Then everything with the title panel comes next. So we create the panel, we create the label that goes in it, do some settings and add it to the panel. Similarly here, we create the content panel. There's nothing in that, so that's the only thing we do for that one. <coughs> mm, excuse me. And then for the control panel, we create the panel, create the bucket buttons and their action listeners, uh, get them all combined up, and then add them to the panel. And then similarly, uh, we now add everything to main. So we use our layout, set it to border layout, and add the three panels in. So all I did was rearrange the code. But the reason I did that is I wanted to show you... This is starting to get longer, and it kind of makes sense to break it down into sub-methods. So basically this title panel here I'm going to make into a, a, a separate method which I'll just go ahead and call create title panel and NetBeans will offer to make that for me which is fine so I'll just go ahead and reach over here and say uh, create method create title panel in color change your frame that's what I want I'll go ahead and click on that and if I come down here there's the create title panel method let's get rid of the Egyptian brackets and when you create a method in NetBeans it puts a um, a default exception handler so if you actually run the method it'll tell you that you didn't implement it now what's going to go here and create title panel all of these lines that have to do with the title panel so I'll just go ahead and copy and delete those and then come on down here and paste them into the create panel so you can see that what I'm doing here is just reorganizing the code and eventually what will happen is this constructor will be very clean it'll be pretty clear what's going on there okay so let's go ahead and uh, keep working so now we're gonna do the same thing well the content panel is simple enough it doesn't need a method so let's grab the stuff from the control panel again I'm gonna delete it and then uh, I'll add the method in here, create control panel, and then again I'll have NetBeans create that for me, oops, there we go, here's our control panel, we'll fix the brace, Oops, lost my mouse. Where'd it go? There we go. Okay, fix the brace. I'm going to just paste this in to replace what's already there and adjust that indentation. So that's a lot better and uh, I can probably remove some of this white space the idea is to just get it into convenient uh, length so it's easy to see what's going on here and so really I can get rid of this let's just finish it up here get it nice and concise so we create the main we create the title panel that's actually creating the content panel and then uh, the control panel and then now we combine the panels that 
code should be here obviously and then uh, we add main to our frame we set our size and our default close operation now uh, shouldn't change anything I just rearranged the code but it, um, it really doesn't change the way the program runs at all so here's our color changer and everything still works but as we get more complicated it makes a lot of sense to use these <clears throat> helper methods to um, kind of break the job down and ideally if I can keep these methods about a screen width at a time it's much easier to view them so here's the create title panel the create control panel and uh, here's the uh, listeners and uh, I could probably inline the listeners in the uh, code for the create control panel too uh, as anonymous ones I'll show you how to do that eventually okay I think that's good let's call this a wrap